Wells Crowther was a living hero. In the face of tragedy, he rose both literally and figuratively. A Boston College athlete, a graduate, a volunteer firefighter, a friend, and a son. Wells heroically climbed 17 flights of stairs up to the 78th floor of the South Tower, where he made the ultimate sacrifice. Wells Crowther saved as many as 18 lives. He courageously went toward danger to help others escape. Identified only by his red bandana, a gift from his father. The red bandana stands as a symbol of sacrifice, gratitude, and teamwork. Wells' story is bigger than lacrosse. It's bigger than sports. It's a human story. A tale of triumph and tragedy. A tale of legacy and loss. Wells went up so others could come down. Today, Wells' legacy lives on. On campus, on the field, and in the community. Patrick Roach with a runner on second, two outs, and the first pitch is in the right field, a base hit. Burns around third. Comparing athletics to what happened that day is, is obviously not anything that anybody would do. You come in here, you quickly learn about the story of Wells. You learn about his courageous acts and how he, he walked towards danger and not away from it. When I think of Wells and, and you know, what he did on 9-11, I, I think of, you know, selfless service and, you know, what a true leader is. Wells is a constant reminder of who I strive to be and who my teammates and BC Baseball strives to be. It really just goes towards everything that we stand for and just the people who we try to be every day. Grew up in a, a family of first responders, my dad being an officer, my brother being a trooper. Be able to, to honor such a story and to, to bring light upon it and it, it means everything. When you get into athletics and specifically into our sport, there's just so many moving pieces and there's so many different parts. And we just try to simplify it to our guys and ask them to do their one ninth. Nine players in the field at a time. So you have to do what you can and focus on what you can do to help the team. As long as you're doing what you can do, that's doing your one ninth. Because when you get into those moments in athletics, everything can feel bigger than it really is and the perceived pressure that comes along with it. And really it's just about doing your part. We don't you know, feel like we deserve to wear the same thing that, that Wells did, but it's an honor to, you know, to represent Wells and you know, his sacrifice on our uniforms. I think you know, Wells will, will be there with us, obviously not only in our hats and our gloves, but you know, watching down on us. And if you think about our message to our players about just doing your one ninth, I would like to think that's probably exactly what Wells was thinking at the time. He was just doing his part. I'm guessing he didn't view himself as a hero or view himself of doing anything above and beyond. He just viewed himself as doing his part in a difficult moment. Being a, a man for your teammates, being a, a woman for your other teammates, that's, that's something that we can take from Wells' story and, and try to transpose it onto what we're doing. It's not often that institutions have somebody like this to, you know, to point to and say, this is who we want our men and women to be like. To have Wells' story represented on our uniforms that day will be something special.